Hello, second graders. I'm so excited to talk to you about your art auction project. What we're going to do is we're going to work together to create one large artwork that you will create collaboratively with your classmates all together. You're going to make one big artwork that we are going to sell at our school's auction to help raise some money for our school. And I'm going to show you what we're going to make, what the inspiration is, and I'll also demonstrate how to do it so that you'll already know what to do when I uh, borrow you in some small groups to create with me. All right, let's get started. Our artwork is going to be inspired by this painting of colorful concentric circles by an abstract artist named Kandinsky. He was famous for using line, colors, and shapes to not create images that looked like anything in particular. They were just meant to represent his feelings and his identity. To make our concentric circles, we will be needle felting. You might have seen felt like this sold in sheets at craft stores, but it's really made up of these loose wool fibers that I'm holding here called roving and we will be using both uh, uh, the colorful roving as well as uh, one felt sheet to create our concentric circles. Um, I love needle felting, it's a lot of fun. I wanted to share with you a few things that I've done in the past with felt. Um, it's kind of like drawing or painting, except you're using fiber to do it. So you are able to layer and mix colors just like you would with watercolor paints. It's a lot of fun and I hope that you'll enjoy this process with me. To get started, you will need one felt square, which will be your background or your base, a circle cookie cutter, one of these needles, they are extra sharp, so make sure you're hold, always grabbing them from the right end, and one of these foam blocks. The needle is pretty sharp, so anytime I'm not using it, I always stick it into my foam block just to be extra safe because I don't accidentally want to poke myself. And of course, we'll also be using some wool roving. What you're going to do first is center your um, square onto your foam block and you're going to put one of those circle cookie cutters, it doesn't matter which size, near the middle of your square, of your felt square. Then whichever color you want to start with, uh, you're going to pull off a small amount of wool roving and kind of put it in the middle of your cookie cutter. It's okay if it doesn't fill up the whole thing all the way. And then you're going to use your needle to start poking the wool roving in a few different spots. You can see how many times I'm poking mine. And this will help the roving sort of fuse together with your felt square. The more you poke, the more connected the, the roving becomes with your felt square. Now let's speed it up a little bit so that I can make this process feel a little bit quicker than it actually is. As you're uh, poking the needle over and over and over again, it is perfectly fine from time to time to pick up your cookie cutter just to make sure that you're filling your first circle all the way. And you can definitely add more wool roving if you need to. I want to point out that I'm always poking with my needle straight down into the felt and the foam. I don't want to poke it at an angle or accidentally poke it in and then bend it um, because the needle is pretty thin. It could snap pretty easily. Also notice how far away my other hand is as I'm poking. I don't want to accidentally poke the fingers on my other hand. So always be mindful of where your needle is going because we don't want to accidentally hurt our fingers. If you want to mix colors, you're more than welcome to. Right here, I'm putting a little bit of blue on top of my green just to kind of mix in a different color there to make my art feel a little bit more interesting. So you can definitely layer colors if you would like to. Once you're happy with your first circle, you won't need the cookie cutter anymore. Now what I'm gonna start to do is um, make my circle grow rings around it, which will help uh, my circle get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and you can use uh, roving, you could even use yarn uh, to create a ring around your circle. Um, so here I'm actually just using a piece of yarn. I'm uh, 
kind of going around my green circle, uh, poking it every so often just to make sure it stays in place. And once I reach the other side, I'll trim off the yarn a little bit. And then it's always good to add a few more pokes just to make sure it's, it's in there good. Now let's speed the time up even more. So you can see I'm adding some extra wool roving and yarn to go around and around my original circle and that'll help it grow further out towards the edges of my square. You don't need to fill up your square all the way, but you definitely want your concentric circle to feel full. So here it is, here's the finished product. I'm happy with it, with how it turned out. I love the colors I chose and I'm really excited to see what you create. And I'm extra excited to see all your amazing circles displayed together just like Kandinsky's painting.